All right, guys, we're here at Sheehy Ford. About to take a look at the new Maverick. The Maverick is here. Okay. So here's the Ranger, guys. It just got off the truck. I'm talking with my good friend here. What's your name, sir? Jeremy. Again? Jeremy and his accomplice. What's his name? That's Matthew. Matthew. And Matthew. They're That's out good. here checking it out. So we got to make a decision. Are we going to get the Ranger and keep the mock? Oh, you're getting rid of the mock and get the Ranger too. So, can't make any decisions without the white. Outer Banks, Bronco, got the big tires. It's looking sharp. What else do they got up here? What? They got two other Broncos up here. They got a two door. Two door in the, I guess you call that orange. Got the big tires on. This one is a black diamond. Price tag on that is 49,260. Got the big tires and the big flares on it. Then right beside it, we got a four-door in the same color. And this one is an Outer Banks. Nice looking vehicle as well. Up here at Springfield. Sheehy of Springfield. Springfield Ford. Sheehy Ford. Really nice. All these are ordered vehicles. Somebody's gonna get a real jewel. This might be the last day that we see the expedition. She's sitting out here in front of Sheehy Ford. Well, you know. It's been a good vehicle. But just a little bit too big for a daily driver. We're averaging around 14 miles to the gallon, so it doesn't make sense to drive around a vehicle that big and be out here burning up gas when it's $3 and some change a gallon. So something's got to go. Something's got to give. So what are we going to replace it with? We're about to see in just a minute. All righty, Outer Banks Bronco up here at Sheehy. Springfield Ford. Nice in the gray with the crash bar on it. Got the big tires on it. It's looking good. Alright guys, we are getting ready to leave Sheehy Ford. They did their thing. This is our new Maverick. It's in the hot chili pepper red and we got all the little niceties that we need got a power outlet in the back all the nice things that make the maverick a really cool deal so maybe we'll have to start a a page a youtube chapter on the new maverick so there it is let's get going Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back and we did in fact buy the Maverick. Uh, I was very impressed with the Maverick. It was very much uh, a better vehicle than I imagined that it would be. So yes, we picked up the Maverick on yesterday and we still have the Mustang at the moment. So we'll have to see how everything shakes out. So let's turn the camera around and look at the Maverick and see exactly what we have okay this is the maverick xlt and this color is uh upgrade option it is um red pepper metallic yeah i like the color i think it was a 395 dollar optional color we do not have tow hooks and we do not have any fog lights because this is a xlt model and it is a two-wheel drive and I ordered this back 
July the 4th, thinking, hmm, these new Mavericks are a pretty neat little truck. Maybe I'll order one and then see if I like it when it comes in. So we put down our $100 and yesterday it came. November the 10th. So, one of the things that I did order specific to this, I picked it out the way I wanted it. I optioned it the way I wanted it. It has the course all the hooks inside to um, strap down things. It has the, the slide rails on the bed and the spray and bed liner. We also did opt for the power outlet. So you can plug in your utilities and it has two power points on each side where you can add, of course, the um, open up and get to your wiring without splicing or cutting. We also did opt for the four pin tow package. We did not get the trailer, optional trailer package. So this, I believe, the Total rating is 2500 uh, One of the first things that I am going to add is the cylinder that you can put in this area right here so that this bay will not flop down because to me that is one of those things that just, you know, kind of irritating and cheesy, low budget kind of thing. So $100 will take care of that. On each side of the bed, you do have these neat little bottle openers also in the back here you have the optional led lighting light up the whole bed turn it on and off and if you turn the lights on it does cut on as well also if we come around to the outside it does have the keyless entry we have the it's called the pier blue i believe interior with the orange stitching and orange accents. All the other videos pretty much um, review um, the interior and the things that you should expect and you can certainly check out others video for that. But yes, this is our daily driver. Also it has plenty of room in the back seat. As you guys know, I'm a tall guy, I'm six foot seven. So the fact that you can get another person in the back seat is really good to me also there is under under the seat storage so should you need to put some items out of sight you can put them under the seat this has the optional 17 inch wheels with continental pro contact wheels i mean tires i'm sorry and these tires are 225 65 r17 uh, so far i've been very impressed yesterday i have put all the miles on this i did order this so it um came in and all the miles that are on it i put on it if you notice that as we go around the vehicle um this red pepper metallic seems to change color sometimes it looks red other times it looks orange. So, yeah, so far I'm liking it. We'll see. Will we keep the Mach 1? I don't know. Time will tell. We'll have to see how everything goes. Not going to make any rash decisions, but look forward to some Maverick content because we're going to do a couple of things, not much. So, I'm not going to get carried away with this. This is my daily driver. I'm not trying to <laughs> get caught up in the Maverick craziness but that's just a little review of the 2022 maverick xlt two-wheel drive two liter eco boost and yes it has plenty of punch i saw someone had did a video and said that there's was like six seconds in zero to 60 and i concur that this is a pretty peppy vehicle rides like a car if you're going down the road and forget that you're in a truck you'll do exactly that you'll forget that you're in a truck because it really does ride like a car. You feel like you're in a car and you look behind you and there's the bed. So, yeah, it's not huge, but it's big enough. I'm six foot seven. I'm six foot seven. 